Hello, welcome to Snack Break, the show in between the shows. And today we'll be taking a look at Andy Cap's corn and potato snacks. Mm -mm. Now, for those who don't know, Andy Cap is a British comic strip character. He's pretty much just goes to a bar all the time. He kind of has a, a wife at home that nags him for going to the bar all the time. I only really know about him because of a Family Guy cutaway joke. Yes, I win again, Andy. Come on, mate. One more before the missus notices I'm not snoozing on the couch. Too late! Um, and like I said, he is more famous in Britain than he is here. Although, for some reason, I find these snacks in my local dollar store, specifically, like, uh, Dollar Trees. I f see these there all the time, and I don't really actually see these anywhere else, like in a Fry's or a Bash's or, or any other kind of store. So... I don't know why that specific chain of uh, discount stores always has these snacks. Uh, I don't know if they're good or bad. That's why we're here. But first, I figured we just kind of, you know, go through the little Wikipedia article of him first because even I don't know about Andy Cap. Uh, let's see. Uh, Andy Cap is the English comic strip. We are new to that. Cartoonist Reg Smith. Smythe. Smythe. S M Y T H E. Smythe. Reg Smythe, okay, that is a British name. Uh, Reginald, he was born probably Reginald in 1957, so we're basically talking the same ilk as, you know, Dennis the Menace and uh, Marmaduke. Originally a single panel cartoon, it was later expanded to the four panel format. Very good. Uh, it's syndicated now, which means it's, you know, the original creator's long dead, and they've got another uh, artist and writer taking over. Kind of the thing that the Calvin and Hobbes creator never wanted to happen to his comic strip. Where you ink a deal with a comic syndication and they take the merchandising rights and just basically, you know, run it into the ground until you get, like, I don't know, Garfield Kart Racing. Which, by the way, I just bought a mystery bundle and I got that game. So, characters include Andy, of course, short for Andrew. Uh, Flo Cap, who is... Um, Andy's wife, uh, Chalky White, Ruby White, okay, so maybe a little play on colors, Percy Renston, the rent collector, uh, Jackie the Barman, which is very important, I bet we see him all the time, and then minor characters including various constables, barmaids, barmen, referees, footballers, pub locals, door-to-door -door salesmen, and Guitar Bob. I don't know why Guitar Bob, and I choose to pronounce it that way, um, is a is a standout among the minor characters. Uh, Andy's hobbies include pigeon racing, darts, snooker, whatever the hell that is, cricket, rugby, of course, uh, and then ending up in the local jail. Andy Cap had previously appeared in an animated form on television in adverts, adverts, not not ads or commercials. For the post office and Kit Kats. Okay, so he was the Kit Kat mascot for a while. Very good. Okay, so there was a stage musical based off the comic strip. Okay, I'll have to take a look at that. And I'm off to put me feet up on the shelf. I ought to be ashamed of myself. An attempt to transfer Andy Cap to television in 1988 met with little success. I'm... I'm assuming that was live action, because I think I've seen something like that. How can I turn myself away from your electric presence? Electric? Me? Definitely. Like a flipping fridge. Oh, they had a computer game. In 1987, a computer game was based on Andy Cap, entitled Andy Cap the Game. Very original. It was released on the Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum. Okay, so Guru Larry, you might want to take a look at that. Taste the oven-baked crunch. Let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh, uh, life is better with a side of fries. Now these, I guess, are considered fries. Hold on. Okay, so let's see. Potato chips are called crisps, and French fries are called chips. Okay, so and these are something completely different since they are actually corn and potato snacks. They're like a they're basically what Pringles are. They're not actually potato chips in their own... They're not sliced potato and then fried. They are 
uh, reconstituted starch granules. Mm. I want to make that product. I want to have reconstituted starch granules, and my my mascot will be like a hipster with a big um, handlebar mustache. It'd be like, hey, we're honest. Okay, so which one should we try first? Cheddar? Let's go with ranch. Okay, so basically, this is a nice packaging. Um, I like the striking blue and the orange ring, and then you have the Andy Cap character within the circle. Very nice. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, that hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, hmm. Hmm. Actually, that's not, uh, that's not a bad smell. I thought that'd be a little bit more, I don't know, um, MSG, you know, kind of thing. Um, these are very much, you know, they're very hard, um, very dry. Okay, so here we go. Hmm. Yeah, that's ranch flavor. That's a bit tangy. Um, the consistency is like Cheetos, but maybe a little bit more denser. Um, yeah, basically Cheetos. I think that maybe the corn thing. I don't know what Cheetos are made of. Not bad. They just kind of taste like ranch, ranch flavored Cheetos. So knowing what I know now, that these are basically have the consistency of Cheetos, what are the odds that the cheddar fries will basically just be Cheetos? Okay, these are actually a bit thinner than the other ones. The ranch flavors were, were thicker, and these are actually very thin for some reason. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mm. Actually, more tart than a Cheeto. Mmm. Yeah, actually cheddary. And salty, too, for some reason. I kind of like these better, though. Yeah, they're saltier. They're, uh, I think they've got a little hint of garlic, too. Maybe that's what the flakes are. Maybe it's, like, a little bit garlicky. Cheddar. They actually taste like cheddar. Cheese just tastes like... Cheetos just kind of taste like a generic kind of cheese to me. These actually taste like cheddar. Very good. I like these. And finally, let's go with the hot fries. Now, I actually don't like hot snacks that much. But, uh, well, it depends. But let's just see. Again, this is kind of like a middle between the thickness of the ranch and the cheddars, which is a little surprising to me. Okay, well, here we go. That actually just tastes like nothing. That's a huge disappointment because that there's no flavor to this. There's no flavor to these. I'm actually, like, shocked. There's nothing, nothing to these whatsoever. There's like a hint. It's like, it tastes like pepper. Someone over-peppered a food. That's like actual, like, black pepper. That is, that's nothing. I'd have to actually put something on this in order for me to finish at these. This is horrible. I'm going to finish it because we're in quarantine. Yeah, this is, this is not, this is like the biggest disappointment ever. Wow. Okay, so to like re andy cap. Cheddar fries are probably the best. Here, let me put this in order. I like cheddar fries the best. They actually taste like cheddar. They actually have a more of a distinct flavor than Cheetos. And I actually like the texture a lot better because sometimes you'll eat a Cheeto and it's got like, you know, it's all lumpy. And you'll get one piece that has, you know, it's like all airy and hollow. And then in other words, it's really, really dense. This is consistent all the way through. I like it. These are fine. Let me take one more taste to wipe the, uh, to kind of wash away the hot fries out of my mouth. Yeah, these are good. These are nice and zesty. Hot fries, they taste like nothing. They're just nothing. I'm, I'm actually startled about how nothing these are. Per tradition, we will take one from each and then see how they all taste together. Yeah, ranch and cheddar, like, really do complement each other. Hot fries are nothing. Hot fries are just, they're, they're, they might as well be non-existent. I wonder how the cheddar and the, uh, the ranch will taste together. Just those two. Because I have a feeling that maybe the, uh, maybe the hot fries are just acting as filler at this point. Okay, so this is basically... Uh, two cheddars and one of the bigger ranches I could find. 
Mm, that's good. That's what it just tastes like the two of them together. It's great. That Andy Cap was on to something. Some lovely little Lucy, who's really rather juicy, is eager to seduce me with her charm. But she's like most of the ladies that swarm to me. They warm to me, so what am I to do? Then I'm off home like me pigeon, cause there's sport on television. And to overdo it, it's not good for your health. I ought to be ashamed of me.